Hello and welcome to the Basic School YouTube channel. Uh, in this series of videos, what we're going to be doing is looking at using Microsoft Publisher 2010. Uh, and hopefully, uh, by the end of the videos, you will have recreated this poster here. Now, the reason we're doing this is obviously so you can develop some of your skills using Microsoft Publisher. There may be things you've used before, but we can develop those and maybe learn some new skills as well. Because ultimately, what you have to do to achieve your level 5 or part of the uh, level 5 task for communicating information is you have to be able to create uh, your own poster on the topic of internet safety. So hopefully you'll be able to come up with your own ideas for this and you'll come up with something completely different uh, and learn some new skills along the way. So what we're going to be doing in the series of videos is looking at customized bullet points as you can see here and I'll show you how to do those. Uh, a nice border around the outside but we've got a few different options we can do for that. Uh, inserting headers and footers so text at the top here and text at the bottom of the document. We'll be looking at a watermarked image here where you can see the uh, faded image in the background which doesn't distract too much from the text on top of it. Uh, we're going to be looking at auto shapes filled with images and other different types of fills if need be. Um, but you can see here how it allows them to all be the same size without too much effort. We've got center aligned text here um, which we'll be looking at, a nice simple uh, task there. Uh, also a bit of text formatting involved in that and I'll be showing you some of the other features that I haven't necessarily used in my poster um, but you obviously are then more than welcome to try and use them in yours and finally at the end we'll be looking at um, we'll be looking at the background styles okay so back the different types of background that we can put into the poster so what you would normally need to do now is you would need to go to um, start menu and all programs, Microsoft Office, and locate Microsoft Publisher 2010. However, because I'm in Publisher uh, already, I'm just going to go to File, where I could save a document if I'd already saved it before. Uh, save as if it's a new document, open, print, but the option I'm looking for is New. And what I get here is I can choose from different types of templates, um, which we're not really concerned with too many of these others at the moment. So I'm just going to choose a blank A4 portrait. Now when it comes to the time of making your own, of course you're more than welcome to use landscape, uh, but I'm just going to choose portrait. So I've got my document, a uh, nice blank canvas ready to start. But let's say for example you did actually um, choose landscape by mistake. If I go up to the page design tab, you can see I have an option here called orientation and I could change the orientation around just by going between the two different options like so but obviously I'm going to keep it as portrait another thing you could do is if you chose the wrong document size at the beginning you could then choose A3, A5 you could go through all of the, these different options here so what we're going to do then is next have a look at margins. Now margins is the, uh, the or the margin on the document is this blue outline here. And what we tend to use this for is just um, keeping everything with inside this margin. So imagine that everything outside the blue line will not actually be printed at all. So if you go into margins, I can have narrow margins like that. Uh, I can have wide margins. Uh, but the standard that it starts off with is moderate. And that's what I'm going to keep mine as there. So, another interesting little feature that uh, Publisher offers, if you were making a different type of document, like a newsletter, where you actually wanted to have columns of text rather than just um, all of your information, um, I suppose, uh, uh, spread out all over the page, you could have, uh, you could choose guides, and that's literally what the guide is. So if I wanted three columns, I could choose this here, and I could just align my text boxes to fit in there, like so and then maybe have my titles at the top here. But I'm going to choose uh, no ruler guides at the moment. I'm going to have it as it is. So basically that's an introduction as to how we can set up our document uh, from the start. And in the next video, what I'll be looking at is actually starting to put our information on the poster and then we'll start using the tools and features to make it look really good. So I'll see you in the next video.